All right, this is Math 141 of exam practice 2. This is problem number 3. We're supposed to find the inverse of g of x. So we're looking for g inverse of x. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to write it in terms of y and x kind of input, output, little deal. Boom, boom. Uh, I'm going to switch the input and the output now. So anything that's a y becomes an x. Anything that is an x becomes a y. Whoops, and that's not a 5. That should be a 3. All right, um, and then now I'm just going to solve for y. So I've actually, now that is the inverse. I'm just going to solve it so that y is all alone. So first thing I notice is uh, I don't like this thing in the denominator. So I'm going to uh, multiply both sides by that denominator. So got that. And then uh, on this side, that divides out. On the left-hand side, I can distribute that x into there. So this becomes... 3xy, 3 times xy, plus 4x. And that's equal to just what's left over here, that numerator, 5y minus 2. All right, and so then now the issue is I got y's all over the place. I have y's here and y's here. And I want to get y all alone. I want to solve for, for y. So I'm going to subtract 5y from both sides. And that's to get both the y's on the same side. I notice this term does not have a y in it. On both sides as well to get it uh, out of the way. So that leaves me here with a 3xy minus 5y, right, because that's a zero. That's a zero. So, uh, equals negative 4x minus 2. And what's great about that is now that these both have a y in them, what I can do is I can, I can factor that y out. So if I factor that y out, I'm taking it, dividing it out of both of those, I'm left with a 3x minus 5. So now I have y times something equals something else. So what I can do is divide by that something that I'm multiplying y by. And I'm, uh, I'm there. I found the inverse because that divides out. And I have y equals negative 4x minus 2 or 3x minus 5. And that y is the inverse. So that is, that is g inverse. There it is.